Hey there, Internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of What I Feel Like Fridays, where I sit down and talk about whatever it is I feel like on Friday. Today, I am going to, inspired by my dinner, talk about in and out versus Five Guys, the, the eternal debate. However, I think we can indeed coexist as uh, uh, represented by this shirt, which I picked up from... Uh, Ryan McCaffrey of IGN, his uh, now defunct Nerd Styles side venture where he was making uh, uh, shirt designs and stuff. Um, uh, as somebody who lives in Phoenix, uh, I am very blessed in that pretty much all of the food comes here. Um, we get all the stuff from like the West Coast as it migrates east, uh, and then we also have just a, a huge, what we call snowbird population of people who want to get out of the, the North uh, East during the uh, the winter, so they you know come to Phoenix where it's significantly warmer for the months of September through March, uh, and they bring a lot of food that they like with them. Uh, we have you know places like Portillos or uh, Giordano's or uh, or um, oh, what's the other the other big pizza place in uh, um, in Chicago. All of them basically because we have such just a large half of the year Chicago population, they come down here and uh, and they open up Malnati's, Lou, Man Lou Malnati's, that's the place. Uh, they all come here and open up their restaurants here for uh, for the local Phoenix community. So I always lovingly joke, uh, especially within the, uh, the kind of funny community, that we are basically the capital of Team Fat here in Phoenix because we have all of the foods pretty much. And uh, so we've had In-N-Out and Five Guys for quite a while here. And... Uh, I appreciate the debate, uh, however, I personally am a fan of in and out and my rationale behind that is largely, um, the, I mean, both, both burgers are fine and, you know, if push comes to shove, I'm not going to turn away a Five Guys burger, but for me, because I don't do a lot of the fixins that you can put on a Five Guys burger, since Five Guys' whole thing is that you can, like, make a completely custom burger with everything, all, all the ingredients if you want, um, but I really only do like lettuce and mustard and mayonnaise and ketchup, and that's about it. Um, bacon. So it's a very overpriced burger, I feel, for me, uh, for, for my interests, because I'm just not doing enough of the fixings to make it worth it. Whereas I can go to somewhere like In-N-Out, and it's a, like, it's a cheap, simple burger that I can take, enjoy, and I only spend a few bucks on it. Uh, so that's that's my preference is In-N-Out. I'm also a sucker for the uh, the In-N-Out fries, uh, specifically the cheese fries. I get that if you don't like the the regular fries, that's fine. Uh, the the Five Guys fries tend to be like just laughably too many. Um, I, like I'm, I've I will never as a single guy <laughs> eat an entire order of Five Guys fries because I'm not for people. Um, but I appreciate that you are, in that case, certainly getting your money's worth. So yeah, I lean I lean towards fi uh, towards In and Out, but I enjoy Five Guys just fine. My favorite little In and Out versus Five Guys anecdote comes from uh, like a few years back. I went to Five Guys with one of my friends for uh, for lunch, and then I think I grabbed In and Out on the way home for dinner or something like that. And my credit card company called to verify the payments because. I guess they couldn't fathom the idea that somebody was getting Five Guys and in and out uh, So that was a, a nice little humorous anecdote about the two burger joints. Um, but if you like Five Guys, like Five Guys. If you like in and out like in and out Like what you like. And that goes for like anything in life. Like what you like. Wisdom from Trevor Snarky. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just a silly little what I feel like Friday here. Uh, in and out versus Five Guys. Let me know which of the two you prefer in the comments below, just because it's fun, or on Twitter, at SnarkySnarky. You can follow me over there. Uh, and until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.